Hi everyone, welcome to my first curly hair routine. All right everyone, so I'm gonna get right to it. I have no makeup on, my hair is wet, I just washed in the shower and I don't like when my hair is sopping wet, but I also don't like when it's really dry. So I use the Turbo Twisty to dry my hair as I get out of the shower. And I use this really misty hair sprayer just to kind of get my hair a little bit more wet before I add my first product. This mister works actually really well because it doesn't make your hair drenched. It just kind of like mists, mists it <laughs> and just kind of helps it just be a little bit more damp and not sopping wet. And I spray this all over and just kind of get it to a point where I'm happy with it. Where it's just in between, not drenched but not dry. So I'm also just, so I'm just getting it wet and kind of just clumping together and getting all my hair ready to receive the product. <laughs> my first product I'm going to use is the Cantu Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. It is my absolute favorite right now. It's feels like a conditioner almost but it also adds hold it just works really well for my hair my hair is really happy when i use it um i actually just lather this all over i know the how white my hair gets can seem kind of scary but it just just trust it trust the process don't be afraid but i just kind of spread it all over my hair super evenly <laughs> maybe not super evenly but i just spread it all over my hair and i can kind of tell what pieces of my hair need it and what pieces of my hair already have it. You can just tell when your hair has like clean wet hair versus hair that has product in it. And I kind of just keep spreading it all over and just, you can see what I'm doing. I just lather all over my hair basically. Every I like to get every strand coated in this first product. And also you'll notice my hair is over my face a lot. I like to apply my hair products so that way they're with my hair upside down because it adds more volume in the end and it kind of trains my hair to not be flat to my head. If I had my hair just straight back and was doing it like that, my hair would come out super flat. So I'm just adding some more and just kind of getting all the pieces that I've missed. I like to make sure I just I rub it in my hands so it's not all just in one spot on my hands. I like to get it all over my hands and then spread it all over my hair. But yeah, I get it all over basically the perimeter of my hair when my hair's when my head slipped over like this. I go from ear to ear with the product and I just make sure that all my pieces, um, all my sections have it. If I, a place that I normally miss is really close to my ears and that is my driest spot for some reason. I'm not really sure why that in the crown of my head. So I'll kind of, so after I get all my hair covered, I'll kind of just clump it together and flip my head back. <laughs> And I pull the front piece forward and I get the crown in my hair because that's where my hair gets the absolute frizziest. I've heard a lot of girls say that because of where the shower head hits, the, the water in the shower hits your hair, it kind of adds frizz. And I don't mind that. And that's also where my bun is when I do my hair in a bun, so I'm sure that adds some kind of breakage. But I just kind of flip my hair over and then add a lot of product to the crown of my head and kind of go from the center of my head out. And I just make sure that every piece of hair is covered in this product because <laughs> this is where I get most of my moisture from and because it's a moisturizing curl activator cream I don't use a leave-in conditioner or anything because this product has enough um, I don't want to say slip but enough yeah I guess slip is the word it has enough moisture and slip where I don't need a leave-in conditioner before I apply this product it's a kind of an all-in-one product when it comes to that and I also do the front, if I don't do the front pieces that are near my face and near my hairline, they'll get really frizzy really quickly. So I, my hair is always parted in the same spot normally and I usually just kind of make sure I get that part. And I also go from the center out in the back of my head and then bring it all forward. But you can see that. So I like to push it all forward again after I do the crown of my head. And then I take my Demon brush and get rid of that part that I made in the back as I was doing the crown of my head because usually I make a part down the center of my head just to kind of make sure I get all the back of my head. And then I take the Demon brush and I just brush it all forward and, br and clump it all together. This brush is definitely a styling brush and not a detangling brush. I know um, one of my friends thought it was a detangling brush and wasn't really happy with it, but it's definitely not a detangling brush. It's definitely for just for styling. 
And it does work really well as a styling brush, but if you're expecting detangling, I can see how you'd be a little bit frustrated. <laughs> but it just kind of clumps everything together, and I try to get rid of that part in the back, and it works really well. I'm, really, I'm usually really happy with my results when I use the Demon brush. So next I clump it all together and just kind of like see how my curls are kind of like big curls right now. I like it to be like that because that means less frizz later. And I just kind of clump, push everything forward and clump it all together. And then I'll take my favorite gel, which is the Eco Styler Crystal Gel. I get this big bottle of it at Sally's. It's only $5. And the first product is only like $5.99. So this is a full hair, hair routine under $15, which is a miracle. <laughs> but I just get a little bit and I just put it all over my hair when my hair is in this position. So basically like I did at first with the cream product, I go from ear to ear and just kind of make sure that all my strands have the gel coated on it and you can tell again like the first product what curls have it and what curls don't have it. This gel works really well. It's just kind of like a sealant. It doesn't add any extra um, what's the word? It doesn't really add any extra I can't think of the word, but it doesn't really, it just kind of lets the cream do its work while holding it in place. And I love that about it. It's just a simple gel, nothing too crazy. And that big bottle lasts me forever. It's, this is only my second bottle of it ever, since I started buying the big bottle. And I've been using this gel for, I think two years now or almost two years. So I flip my head back and then I do the same thing like I did with the first product. I just get a little bit more and I put it all around the crown of my head. And I just kind of make sure that all the frizzy parts, you know, I really don't want to take a lot, but I just kind of make sure that all the frizzy parts, um, or the parts that I get the most frizz have this gel on it. So I get the crown of my head and just kind of scrunch it. And this really just sets your hair. And at first you can't really, it doesn't really feel like the gel is getting hard or, or getting its cast. And it definitely is. So don't be, so make sure you, d you don't want to go heavy handed in with this gel or else your hair will be too casted and you have to break the cast a lot later but again like the first product also also again like the first product I put my head over and add some and then just kind of fluff it up and then I have a usually have a lot in my hands at this point and I use my mister to spray some water in my hands and use my towel to dry it off but yeah that's li literally all I do when it comes to products I don't like to have a bunch of products in my hair I feel like it weighs my hair down and doesn't really I don't really get my best results. I like to have a simple routine so that way I can just do two things and go. And I like to have a budget friendly routine because I know I'm going to use a lot of product because I do have kind of a lot of hair, a lot of fine curly hair and it, um, not fine. I do have a lot of hair and I know I'm going to go through the product kind of quickly. So I like to things use things that are budget friendly that are doable. I'm not going to use, use a bunch of my paycheck on my hair care routine. And I like to buy products that are near my house so that way I can get access to them easily in case I run out. So at this point I'll do my makeup. And I use all that time to um, let the product just really set, set into my hair. So next I'm going to diffuse my hair. I like to use the Revlon infrared hair dryer with the diffuser attachment. This hair dryer came with the diffuser attachment and it was only like $30 at Ulta and I've also seen it at Walmart. I watched a video one time before I bought this about comparing this hair dryer to the Diva Curl diffuser and they actually said that this one worked just as good. It just was cheaper and the cord wasn't as long. So that didn't bother me so I went ahead and bought this one. I've had it for about two years now and I absolutely love it. So as you can see, I have all my hair flipped over to one side and I like to diffuse it like that where I flip all my hair over to one side, then all my hair over to the other side and diffuse it as it's all flipped over. Because if I just diffuse it in the style that my hair is going to be, like with the side part, my, the roots of my hair will be super flat and I really don't like that. I like them to be big and lifted and I don't like any super flat to my scalp kind of hair. <laughs> it's just never really been me. And so I just flip it all over and diffusing my hair probably takes about um, at least 10 minutes total, but I usually do it for 15 or 20, but I need it to do it at least for 10 minutes or else it still looks like, oh wow, she has wet hair. It's not just like, oh, she, her hair's drying. It's almost dry. It's wow. Her hair is wet unless it's, unless it's been at least 10 minutes. 
So you can see I'm just kind of letting it sit there and then as it gets a little bit more dry on that side I'll start to wiggle the hair dryer and kind of just help it help the curls come back to life and then I flip them all over and go to the other side and I just keep doing this I don't do it do each side for any certain length of time I just keep doing this over and over again for like the full 10 minutes 15 20 minutes this method of flipping my hair over and doing it side by side really works well for me I'm usually really happy with my results so I'll just keep showing you guys as I'm doing it um, I'm not going to show the whole recording of it because it takes me, like I said, 15-20 minutes. <laughs> So that's just what I do. I flip it over and do one side, flip it over to the other side, and I keep doing that until I'm happy with the results. And as you can see, as my hair starts to get drier, I start to use my other hand to scrunch it as I go, and that kind of helps, helps to break the cast a little bit of the gel that we used, and it makes it so it just kind of looks more touchable, livable, and all around less crunchy. So now I'm going to take my other favorite product, it's the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And you see those top pieces that are kind of at the very top of my head and they're kind of frizzier and a little bit out of control. I'm just going to take a little bit in between my fingers and run that through and just kind of make it a little bit more controlled. I actually recorded this video on a day off that I had and when I have a lot of extra time I like to take the diffuser attachment off and kind of just fluff up my hair even more with the hair dryer. I know a lot of people don't like to blow dry their curly hair with just a straight up hair dryer, but um, I think this adds a lot of volume and just kind of makes your hair even look even more like relaxed and touchable like we said earlier. And I don't do it a lot, just like a little bit, just to kind of fluff it up some more. So now I'll just kind of place my pieces that are framing my face where I want them. And that's pretty much it. That is my full wash and go curly hair routine. I made my channel with the intent of making a lot of curly hair videos and this is actually my first one I've made yet. So if you like it, feel free to like and comment. Um, there's more coming. I definitely enjoyed making this video. And it was really fun and I like to be able to share that I have a curly hair routine that is underneath $10 and I think it's really affordable and doable.